to. Well, a couple of years after the firm was in business working just with churches, we began to get a number of requests to work with not-for-profit organizations. Folks wanted us to help them with Boy Scouts, and they wanted us to help with their college and with their youth home and things like that. And that was not where my background had been. Uh, I brought a partner into the firm that had uh, decades of service in working with not-for-profits, and I too began to learn more and more and more about how not-for-profits go about working with their donors, how they go about soliciting funds, and what they understand about giving. And what I saw startled me. I realized immediately as I began to work with not-for-profits that they understood exactly why it was that people gave. And they structured all of their communications around why people give. They understood it fully. They knew their donor. Why was it that they worked so hard to know it so well? Because they wanted to stay alive. And they understood the competition. As Joe told you, nonprofits are growing at 7 to 8% a year. The money for the last five years has been basically the same. Therefore, it's going to be a survival of the fittest. You've got to do it well or you die. Well, as I watched nonprofits succeed and I saw what they were doing, at the same point, I was watching the church that I love very much still standing over here saying, we need money now. And they said, well, that didn't work, so we're going to try it another way. We need money right now. <laughs> and that's their basic approach to their donors. And they were coming to me saying, you know, Cliff, a lot of our people are giving to other stuff. And not just to us, the church. And I said, well, what are you saying to them? I'm telling them every Sunday, we need your money now. But they're not choosing us. Well, that set me on a path of wanting to try to work with and to train churches, which I still love more than the not-for-profits that are very much a part of our business, but my heart's not there like it is with the church, to learn why is it that people give and to encourage you to move your communications more in the direction of what nonprofits have been doing for a long time that you too might survive. Now as you look at this list, see if you can determine what you think the number one reason is why people give, why people give, why people give, why people give, why people give.